Well, we tease him a lot, but he got in mama's spot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, hug yourselves, give yourself kisses, and sit down. Okay, it's time for Get to the Point. That's right, Get to the Point. Deb Chanel's 48th World, stop beating around the bush. Tell us what you want us to know so we can be out. Okay, I guess I need to tell you the media streets are going fast and it, out, and it is ablaze. And I'm going to give out shout out um, Media Takeout because they were the first one to drop it on my social media feed. Now, everybody and their grandmama got it on their feed. Okay, the bloggers feed where they go do the dicking, dipping and dodging and getting in people's business, finding out the tea. Okay, we're going to be talking about none other than Cynthia Bailey, Mark Hill and Miss Noel. Yes, Cynthia Bailey's daughter. Okay. When I first saw it, when I first heard it, the first three words came out my mouth. Where is Leon? That's right. Where is Leon? Don't understand this. You can't make this mess up. Okay. That's the paparazzi out there. All right. That's those bloggers, those real healthy paid bloggers up in people's news. And they happen to be up in celebrity news. I'm going to give you a moment, a, a moment to think about it because I know it was a lot. A lot to digress before I give you my opinion on the situation. Okay. The subject at hand. And then I'm going to read you the commentary because, you know, I like to get down with y'all and read it how it's brought out. It ain't too much of a story, but it's out there for us to be contemplating on. Okay. All right. Yes, I did say it. Cynthia Bailey, daughter, has moved in with Cynthia's fiance, Mike Hill. Now, this won't be a bad situation if, in fact, Cynthia has also moved in, too. But my question to Cynthia, what, when, how, where, and how come? Okay. How come, girl? Why Noelle ain't back up in college? I know she flunked out that first semester and you said, okay, we're going to let you do it again because you on TV. We were filming the whole thing. Everybody know who you are because of me and the show. All right. We're going to let you have an, another swing at it. All right. We ain't going to count you out and we're going to let you go again. All right. On my dime. So what happened again, I guess from what they say, she dropped out. It wasn't for her. Now, is it a smart move? Yes and no. Smart move meaning she couldn't take it. She don't want it at this time. It's not phasing her to be in school. So she did express not too long ago before Cynthia showed her, her and, and Leon being parents. And sometimes we think about ourselves and not really what our kids are trying to say to us. She wanted to travel the world. And then it turned into she wanted to go uh, see the world with her boyfriend or she wanted to move in with her boyfriend and do some things. Then it was, okay, no, she's going to go to school. I don't know if she said lawyer or she was trying to be in some medical occupation field. Can't think. Anybody in the fact checkers that really, 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 really watch The Housewives and be die hard? Because I'm die hard for it to a certain extent. And then I just like, uh-uh, can't take it no more. All right. But uh, let me know what field. I think it was the medical field she was trying to go in. Was it a, a physician? Or it was like GYN or the babies? Or was it ophthalmology? Ophthalmology. Dealing with the eyes. I, I can't remember, but I'm not going to carry it too long because either way, it, how it is, she ain't in nobody's school. Okay. And I know she was supposed to be doing this. Um, I don't think it was a YouTube thing. I think she was like a, being a sponsor. For some underwear type products, like some sportswear products, like the sports training bra and maybe the um, the workout tights or um, uh, jogging pants they wear. You know, I, I, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on. Don't quote me on nothing. Pretty much, I'm just like picking up my news feed, putting some commentary out there, just like you would go into the grocery store when you're shopping and you're checking out and you just waiting to be you know, uh, recognize so they can scan your groceries or not. You're just sitting up there with a magazine or reading it. That's what that's what I'm giving you, commentary. So believe what you want out of it. Don't get on me because I'm reporting it because, like I said, you're getting it for free. All right. So hush up with all that noise y'all be talking sometimes. Not all of y'all, but some of y'all, okay? But, um, yeah. I Okay, I think y'all done pondered enough because y'all probably, like, questioning light bulbs in your head. 
Oh, what in the world? I know you're thinking pedophilia. I know you are. Might want to swing with both of the women, the younger flavor and the other flavor. Uh, what else could be going through y'all minds? Um, hmm, Noel is 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 not really in in good graces with her dad, so she's acting out, rebelling. So she's going to step up with her stepdad and and feel his life because his other two kids are not living with him. Uh, hmm. And, and then maybe she's suffering from daddy issues, which I'm like, I thought Leon was in her life and she wanted him in her life. I mean, what? I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm confused. OK, now I know some of y'all are saying, oh, well, maybe just maybe the children are there, too. They're just not in the spotlight, meaning um, Mike Hill's other two daughters. Not really sure. OK, but I know he has one that's 19. And I think uh, Noelle is 19. So they are pretty much on the verge. Because uh, sounds like anybody's grown, in a sense, uh, to be movers and shakers unless they're in their own place. Now, I granted the law says you're grown at 18. But I still hear that teen in there. I mean, a teenager. So I'm willing to support it maybe when you get 20, 24 at the most. But like I said, you ain't truly fully grown till you out there paying your way in society, okay? Knowing what it means to get up every day to go to a job that you love or you don't love or a career of your choice that you went to school and got post-secondary education on. But to me, it's still a job. You just love what you do, okay? But I said that to say this. What the hell is going on, Okay. Noel has a dad. I don't know if he's in New York or is he in Los Angeles uh, also. But my thing is, why can't you can afford an apartment for her to live off campus? I believe that's what it was. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe she was living at Howard University on campus. I'm not really sure. OK, I know she did have a roommate. Uh, maybe the work, roommate didn't well, work out. But my thing is, if she's um, acting grown doing grown things, then maybe she got a trust fund, Cynthia, but she needs to be out on her own in her own apartment because this other stuff is just looking very peculiar, very suspicious. And I'm like, okay, I'm not liking it. My my, my mom radar is just going all up, up, up. Okay. Now I can see if all y'all was a family and y'all were having the other two kids being there off and on with, you know, them sharing uh, custody back and forth with the mothers and stuff that were involved. Uh, but uh, just Noel up there living in L.A. in the apartment that houses only Mike Hill and Cynthia, you're not there. Uh, I pretty much have a problem with it. You know, just putting my two cents in, you know, you can take it for what it is. I don't know how you're going to take it. But I'm like, are you crazy, Cynthia? You're not even fully fledged married okay see flag on the plate and i mean big time we on a time out because we trying to figure out what done went wrong we ain't finna start netting back in no uh two or three seconds or two or three minutes we we need a break we need some commercial breaks that be lasting forever and not get back to the real game okay because I, I don't shit everything down because i'm trying to understand the situation is this another storyline we got going on because what i'm thinking Noel is broken inside. Some ain't fitting right. The child on being dismissed twice from college. Uh, what is going on? Okay. Now she wants to look. And I saw a little racy picture. I ain't gonna put it on now. But I guess if you go to her Instagram account, you can see her. She got on some pink heels, sitting her little uh keister down on some luggage, and you know, ain't too much left for the imagination but she do have some clothes on some underwear sportswear look like that's still too that's too promiscuous in my book for somebody her age okay so i'm not gonna show back like i said i don't really like showing kids but uh, you know noelle's not a kid anymore she knows right from wrong she knows what promiscuity promiscuity is uh promiscuity I might be pronouncing that wrong, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Promiscuity, okay? You're being too fast for your own age group, all right? And you're up there with not really family right now because, yeah, Cynthia's not married to him. So, technically, he's not your stepfather. Again, three words come out my mouth. Where is Leon, okay? The dad, the biological dad. Don't he have some say? I want to know, all right? But since y'all have my... Um, 
my ideal of what I feel, my opinions, uh, unbiased as it is. Let's get on into what Media Takeout found out. Okay, it was a staff writer who wrote the article. Uh, he titled it, or she titled it, as ATL, um, meaning Atlanta Housewives. Housewife Cynthia daughter, Cynthia Bailey's daughter. Let's get it together because there ain't no other Cynthia floating out there. Okay, we're talking about Cynthia Bailey daughter, Noel Robinson. Okay, moves in alone. Let's emphasize on the word alone with boyfriend Mike Hill. Putting it all together for you, it says ATL housewife Cynthia daughter moves in alone with boyfriend Mike Hill. Okay, and it was put out today, Friday, which is Friday day. You know, no more work if you have a job that just works strictly Monday through Friday. Hey, 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 what you got to say? Hollywood, Hollywood swinging. So y'all get out there and party when you get back home and, and, and you, you settle down and you can watch this video. Okay, but anyway, yes, it that that's the title we got. And we're going to go into that story. But I'm going to leave you a few minutes to catch up with me. Because I know y'all having y'all sidebars and y'all head. And, and the comings and goings. And you'll be like, oh, what, what, what's next? What's next for the housewives? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking too. I mean, the show uh, starts to come back. Is it? Well, it's in November. So we still got another whole month. Um, but... Um, we, you know, I'm, I'm giving y'all time to think about it, okay? Give you a little time, because I, I don't really do that. I just go on and give my spiel, uh, and then, you know, y'all get on me. So, I'm giving y'all time to think about it for a moment. This ain't going to happen too often, but it is what it is. Okay, gave y'all enough time. All righty then. All right. It says, Cynthia Bailey's daughter, Noelle, has moved to Los Angeles and is living with Mike Hill, the Atlanta housewife's boyfriend, fiance. Now, as we know, in fact, checkers can check me. Noelle, uh, Noelle was out there in, uh, was it New Jersey? Somewhere in New York, I believe, going to Howard University. Uh, let me know. Maybe I got it wrong. I know it's, it's up to y'all to tell me because y'all little telling me where I done went wrong, where I done got off the bus and I should have kept going over a cliff. I know, I know. Some of y'all think of that way. But going back to the article, it says, there's only one problem. Cynthia doesn't live in the same house with them. What? What? What you talking about? You need that piano to go loud like something just happened that stunned the hell at you. Yes, that's what it says. Okay, and like I said, Media Takeout is not the only vlogging site out there that's got the story. It's going, it's running rampant out there in those YouTube streets, as well as those uh, social media streets, and probably uh, globally by now. Okay, it says Mike lives in Los Angeles, where he is a sportscaster for Fox. We know that. Because Cynthia has spent many, many moons, times up there and still hadn't gotten married. I'm sure they have a courthouse down there somewhere to make makes things a little easier and legal. But they haven't went there yet. They're waiting on Bravo. Yes, True Entertainment to pay for their wedding, I guess. I don't know. Because we already had one that Cynthia was a part of with Cynthia and Peter's debacle of a marriage. Okay? You remember Peter, Peter, Parker, Eater? How do I can keep her? Yeah, that Peter. All right. Uh, yeah, he lives there. Cynthia doesn't live there. But, okay, Cynthia does live uh, in Atlanta. Yes, she does, where she films her top-rated reality show. The couple spends more than 80% of their time apart. Who eight, nine, ten? That's 20% where he could be doing in and everything. Remember Kenya's husband and all the rumors going on on that front line over there? Okay. Ooh, I tell you, these housewives are making it easy. They making it too easy to come here with some stories, all right? And we need them to rebuke, rebuttal it. But we know they're not. They're going to say what they're going to say. They're going to keep making their million dollar uh, revenue. And they're going to like toot their nose up at the bloggers. But they know half the time, more than not, we got it right.
on they bullshit. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, so it's a bit strange that Cynthia's adult daughter, Noel, has decided to move in full time with Mike. Okay. Noel has been attending Howard University. Woohoo. Yep, I got it right. But she recently dropped out of this prestigious college to become a YouTube star. Now, y'all tell me. Y'all getting on me every day. I drop a video saying, I ain't got this. I ain't got this. I ain't. But what you, what is Noelle over there doing on her YouTube channel? I don't know. Okay, but y'all tell me what she's doing. All right. So we can get the likes on why she wants to become a YouTuber when she could go uh, see the world if she wanted to. Or better yet, her mama got connections. Why don't she start her own network? Well, okay, that's a bit much. But why don't she go intern at one of these sports places? Hint, hint, Mike Hill can get her a job. Let her see how the ins and outs go. Or better yet, be an intern at Bravo Entertainment. All right, I'm sure they could hook her up so she can get the likes of it and see what it all details and that people really do be putting in work. When they bringing out all these gossip stories, okay? But it seems like she don't find a platform on YouTube. So go on over there and support her, those who will. We all need support here and there. Okay, but going back to the article, it says she and she needed a place to stay while she filmed her videos. What? Now see, that's what I'm saying. If she's a YouTube star with her mother's income, with her dad's income, she should be able to have her own luxury apartment. All right, or better yet, get her a little uh, start a home, you know what I'm saying? She gonna go out there trying to do big girl things, big woman things. She need to have her big self in her house of her own, okay? She don't need to be living with a man that ain't even married to her husband yet. I mean, to her, yeah, Cynthia's husband. Soon to be husband. Well, y'all know what I'm going with. Here, go live with your dad. Or put it better yet, tell your mom and dad to put you up for a year or two in your own residence and, and just see how fair you can go with this thing called life, okay? How far you can go, I meant to say. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, in case you're wondering, Noelle looks exactly like her mom, only younger. Now, that's true. She's a beautiful young girl, okay? Here are pics of the very beautiful Noelle, who is 19 years old. And y'all know I ain't finna post it on my video. I posted the uh, one of her looking like a true angel over there. You know, like she's so undecided. She's so lost. She don't know what she going through. And I blame Cynthia. I blame Cynthia. All these women get on these reality TV shows or they get into entertainment life and they forget about their kids because they too much trying to chase that dollar. Like they can't do nothing else in this world. This God green, beautiful earth of a world. They want to go into the uh, messiness of entertainment when they still should be forming their children. All right. But yet they still saying they paving the way. They trying to make a difference. They trying to put their family on top. But yet their family is out there raising themselves. And it's totally opposite to what they wanted for their children. Okay. I'm just throwing that out there because I'm talking like a mother. Okay. Teach your child in the way you want them to be growing up. All right. That's biblical people. Get into it. But y'all go over there if you dare to go to her Instagram account, which is Noelle Robinson. Go show her love. But to me, I don't know if she's trying to be a video thought person or she's trying to be in the entertainment business in some form or fashion. Uh, or is she trying to be a model? I'm not really sure. Y'all go over there and get y'all um, looksy on or whatever. But... I, I don't know. I'm not in the, in the groove with it. And to me, she's looking like a porn star. I had to say it because that's what she's giving me when I'm looking through these pictures. Okay. And I'm talking about the one that she has these pr pretty future uh, heels. She's sitting on some Louis Vuitton luggage and she's only in her, it looks like exercise gear possibly, but I would be like trying to cover up my keister, meaning my behind, and we can let the top flow all day long because she got that kind of a body, but it's just, it's not looking good. But anyway, moving back to the article and finishing up, it says, ladies, would you let your 19-year-old daughter move in with your boyfriend? Okay, saying you. I don't know what that means, but that's what they put it. If you go on media takeout news, you can read the same article and get your own digestion of it. Uh, it says, Mike proposed to Cynthia during the grand opening of her new business, the Bailey Wine Cellar in Atlanta on Friday, July 26th, according to People. The sportscaster popped the question with a beautiful five-carat princess cut solitaire ring. Many of Cynthia and Mike's 
loved ones were in attendance to witness the joyous occasion, including Cynthia's daughter, Noel Robinson, 19, Mike's two daughters, Kayla, 17, and Ashley, 19, as well as members of the Real Housewives of Atlanta crew and other close friends of the couple. There would be the second marriage for both Cynthia and Mike. Cynthia was previously married to Peter Thomas, whom Real Housewives of, fan, Real Housewives of Atlanta fans saw her wed in season three. Okay, yes, that was season three from 2010 to 2017, and we know how that ended, okay? But I don't spoke my piece on this situation. I think it's a travesty. I think it's, I, I already told y'all what I felt about Mike Hill being an opportunist and Cynthia just not heeding the warning signs, and this is a big boulder, okay? A big boulder that don't fail on uh, their sites where they can't even get out to go. Ugh, can't get out the door, in a sense, because it's right there. It's blocking them. It's like, okay, Cynthia, this is the biggest thing I could have shown and thrown at you. Are you going to pay attention or are you just going to be pressing the gas and go on and marry this man? Well, you don't even too much know why Noelle can't have her own digs. Why she got to come up in your digs with your future husband. There's something wrong with that, okay? What I am tired of, and then I'm going to leave this video alone, why parents are trying to be their children's friends. You should never cross those boundaries with your kids. They need to know that you're a mother. You're going to always love them. And you're going to try to be an example that they can definitely uh, emulate. All right. I want to know why it's Noel not in college. I need a concrete answer. Okay. Since they showed it to us on TV. Maybe not with Noel's uh, permission. But Cynthia, you got some explaining to do, girl. And again, where's Leon? And why does he, and what does he really feel about this situation? Okay. Because I know Leon is a very private person. Unless you go see him in stage plays or, you know, he's on uh, television doing something or he's in film doing something. He pretty much don't have his life out there on Front Street like Miss Cynthia Bailey is doing. And I'm asking Cynthia, are you crazy? All right, those are the questions I wanted to ask. Maybe y'all can help me with them. Maybe y'all can share some light or better yet, give me your thoughts on this commentary uh, of what I brought out to you all. And y'all try to speak on this situation, okay? Get in them comments. Dialogue with one another. Let's come up with some answers because right now, I don't have any. All right? I only have my opinions, okay? Yes, that's what I give here and there, my opinions. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all come back. You know I'm going to have something else out for tonight because that's what I do. I record videos and I look for you to enjoy them, get something from them, and pretty much y'all going to tell me off all the time. All right? But that is how it is. That's, the, that's just how it goes, okay? But peace and blessings. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.